Hey there, baseball fans. I'm Ben, and today I'm opening packs from 1991 Fleer Ultra, their first year of making this premium, in the quotes, uh, set. I did get pretty bad reviews when it first came out. I haven't really liked this set because it's, it's basic. Um, I guess that's what everybody hated so much about it. But uh, I love this back design. I think they did a great job with that. And it does have nice big photos on the front. And they're not glossy, so they actually feel really good in your hand. So the photography is pretty good. So overall, I like this set, even if they um, didn't get ready to reuse it first. Mostly looking for you know some of my favorites, Sean Dunstan, Ryan Sandberg, Nolan Ryan, Mark Grace. But also the Fleer Ultra Gold cards. Oh, there's a Barry Bonds right away. It's a nice one to pull out. Nice pictures of him on the back, too. Um, yeah, so looking for those Fleer gold team gold team cards as well there's a ricky henderson man that guy's strong look at those legs as well as dwight gooden so i think there are only 400 cards in this set so you can uh, be pretty sure to get quite a few of the guys that you're after there's also this um rookie prospect subset here as well as there's a, like a highlights or a key moments kind of a subset too to keep an eye out for. Oops, sorry about that bump. Grant Allen Hill must see this and be like, oh, why did they take the one where I completely whiffed and I'm off balance? Of all the pictures they could have taken, there's a great performance from Ricky Henderson. And actually, that picture looks a lot like his base card, so it's kind of a shame that they couldn't do something different. Oh, Joe Car Carter. And actually, here's an interesting thing. Look at the... Uh, his picture is a reverse negative, I think. Like they flipped it. In any case. Edgar Martinez listed as a shortstop, which I think is incorrect as well, but that's a good one. The Eck. Another good one. So see, like, the, the hit rate on good, on good cards coming out of these packs is pretty high, which is why, one of the reasons I also enjoy opening this set is getting uh, some of these good cards. There's our Mets sticker. Good shot of Ruben Sierra there. And just as I say that, I get nothing. It happens. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't want to say it, but I think there's something I'm going to be happy with in this one. Here's Robin Yunt. That's a good card. Good shot of Gino Petrali there. Look at the photographer. The, that's his big moment in the, in the sun because he gets to be on a baseball card. Good for him, man. I, Raja Jefferson, there you go. That would have been a good card for the in the day. I'm feeling pretty good that there's going to be something I really get going to like in the back of this one. Just maybe, just maybe. There he is, Sean Dunstan in his Superman uh, format, turning a double play. So I'll add this one to my personal collection. Got a couple of those already, but nice to add that one in too. So that's good. That makes the whole session worthwhile when I get one of those ones from my personal collection. Can't wait to add those in to my binder later. I totally feel like a kid when I start doing that stuff. There's the Roger the Rocket. Roger the Rocket Clemens. With what is that face? <laughs> These guys. Now Trammell's like doing the limbo when he throws that one. Oh, well, here it is. One of those gold ones. This is Doug Drayback. I'm going to show him hitting, too. Look at that, even though he's a pitcher. So Only 10 people, ten uh, cards in that subset for the gold. Just Don Mattingly. Say that aside for Polly Pax. Our buddy who is also doing some of these card openings. And he sets those Sean Dunstan's aside for me, and I set those Don Mattingly's aside for him. Because we're cool like that, you know? Good shot of Greg Gagne there, flying through the air. I love 
You know, whenever they capture those guys on those double plays, always very cool. Of course, it's also cool how they play on the checklist. There's a Nolan Ryan that exists out there. There's a Sammy Sosa. That's a good one. Second year card for him. Sam Yalmar Jr. All right. I just thought the little guys they have in the front, like this one especially, that's the worst slide I've ever seen. It looks like he's just either he was shot or he's falling down. Um, just an odd design. It's quite a good looking character. I like it. Weird, but I like it. Uh, there's Chief Wahoo that we shouldn't see anymore, especially now that the uh, Cleveland team is the Guardians. So a welcome change in my opinion. Good on them for making that change. Oh, we got another gold card. Oh, this is a Ricky Henderson, so that's a good one. Look at all that tiny, tiny text. In real life, it's just really super small. Wait, Terry Shumpert. Whatever happened to that guy? I'm looking him up. Terry Shumpert. All right. And our last pack here. Such a fun name to say. Terry Shumpert. Oops. Let's see what that is. My boys actually love taking these stickers and they... They actually like the hologram ones from Upper Deck better, but these also, these foil ones, they like to put in their room. Here's David Winfield, finishing up his career. Oh, look at that, another goal, and there's a Kirby Puckett. Not the greatest shot of uh, his portrait there, but good card there nonetheless. Another Terry Shumpert. So look at this giant stack of superstar cards here. Really good work there, plus the Sean Dunstan. And we'll look up Terry Shumpert and see what happened to that guy. Here he is. Played college baseball at Kentucky. Started in 1990 for the Royals, finished with the, the Devil Rays in 2003. 252 lifetime average, 49 home runs, 223 RBIs. Played for every team under the sun, just getting like seven teams. Not really lasting more than much of a year, except for a few years with the Rockies, a few years with the Royals. Second round pick, the Royals. Um... Not much of a career synopsis there. Let's see what happened in his personal life, which is what, what I'm really more interested in. So his son, Nick, is a shortstop, drafted by the Tigers in the seventh round, 2015. And then uh, signed by the Braves in 2016. So good for him. Baseball family. Uh, Mookie Betts is a nephew of Shumpert. They're actually first cousins once removed, as Shumpert is a first cousin to Betts' mother, Diana. Oh, look at that. So... A good relation to Mookie Betts, one of my favorite players in the game right now. Just one of those guys that I think exemplifies everything that's good with baseball. And, of course, he was on the Red Sox for all those years, making them everything that they were. So, Terry, good good on you. Good baseball family. And um, say hi to your second cousin once removed for me. The rest of you, we'll see you next time.